everybody i'm back with a brand new youtube video and listen i know y'all like this boy is do ragged up again yes it's time to go to bed after this <laughs> but you know i had to give it to you i just want to apologize i did not do a basketball wives review on this past monday i got caught up but trust me tomorrow night it will be done um because I want to continue to do the season, but we're talking about The Real Housewives of Atlanta, season 14. And I believe that this is episode five. I, it may be six. I think we're in episode six, but I'll have it titled correctly um, once it's uploaded. And let's go ahead and get into the review. So we have Drew and Kenya going on this little brunch or whatever they had and they connected. I did not like Drew's wig in that scene. Now, all this money you got, you know, I understand that a lot of times people are not going to just walk, get right out the house and looking the best, but I don't know for some reason with some of y'all this season. I don't know what's going on with these wigs, but a couple of you don't look right. Kenya's wig in this thing looks okay. But I, you know I told y'all last week I did not care for that wig Kenya had on because you saw the you saw the lace. Like it just ugh. You know, she's such a beautiful woman, so you know, I know mistakes happen. Okay. So we have them talking and it was a great conversation you know they did not get along last season at all season 13 it was so weird so to see them talking and stuff like that and they wasn't even ready to order like that when the waiter came <laughs> because they were so into the talking it was it was pretty cool Sanya looks like she has a great relationship with her mother they look like they are they, they're definitely family people definitely fam family people and stuff like that. So it's it's kind of good that she has that relationship with her mother, her kids, her father, and all of that. Um, she invited Kenya and uh, Candy to this this shoot, and she claimed that she told Kenya that she would have to change outfits and stuff like that. So Kenya participated anyway. Candy didn't go along. Y'all know how Candy, you know, Candy funny about a lot of stuff. So. <laughs> I just feel like she just feel like like damn she got us doing this so she was kind of surprised um but that went well this is also a continuation of how Sheree was left outside in last week's episode uh, waiting on Tyrone and you know like I told y'all I do not feel right about that. I do not feel right that he did that to her. And I do think that something's going on. I feel like it's some bullshit. Ain't no telling who he could have been talking to. Who, who else he dealing with. Like, it's just sometimes them prison, them prison dudes, they just, they, they just be, they be all cap. I'm sorry. Um... You can tell that she's been in the house kind of stressed now, but I, it's, it's just so funny seeing them with all that makeup on <laughs> and they feeling sad or whatever. But I guess for production wise, they have to look a certain way during taping. It was so thoughtful of Marlo to throw something for uh, Sheree and had Drew to help her. I thought that was very creative. And I thought that was very sweet of Marlo. But Marlo is so extra with the, all the stuff. And did Sheree pay for that stuff herself? Because Sheree was like, I thought she was gifting it. And it was kind of weird. But if she did, that was oh, that was 11000 some dollars worth of stuff. That was very weird. Um, another thing... Um, you can tell that Sheree is not over Tyrone. I don't know what the status is now, but I know how Sheree... I think I kind of know Sheree just by seeing her last season. She's not going to go through no bullshit too long. She's not. Excuse me. She is not going to go through that too long. Um. So we have this thing where Sanya invited 
everybody with Drew, but then she uninvited Drew. It seems like Sanya is trying to explain herself too much to Drew. It's kind of like, girl, just go ahead and say what you got to say. And Drew needs to say what she needs to say. And it, it just sounds like she she's waiting for the opportunity to say whatever she got to say, even though she said what she had to say. What else do you need to say, girl? Like, okay. Uh, it was good to see that when they all got together, that Mama Joyce was there and stuff like that, uh, helping Candy cook and stuff like that. That was that was cute. I liked it that. Um, Mama Joyce looks good, by the way. She still looks good. And maybe Candy and her mama, they're going to stick beside each other. I don't care what goes on. Um, I also just want to say that uh, Marlo and Sheree went outside talking about everybody. Marlo is just a little messy for me. And I feel like she's been like that for the, all these seasons, even though she was a friend of the show. And I think she's a little bit too old to just be talking. Like, sometimes, you know, she's just, she just a very blunt person. Nothing wrong with being a blunt person, but sometimes she take it too far. It's like, okay, girl. And Sheree kind of agreeing with the whole Candy situation about about Candy and about the other girls. It's kind of like, you can tell that some, um, something between Marlo and uh, Candy is something's going to go down. Because Mar Marlo is starting to talk about Candy. Uh, stuff in the press now. Yeah, if y'all heard it, go look it up. Because I definitely heard it. And Candy did respond. <laughs> but Candy, uh, Sheree was talking about some Candy was her friend because she felt like uh, Candy should have came to her first about her situation. I just never know for Sheree and Candy to just be close like that. Because you remember seasons ago, Sheree did put Candy under the bus. But I think they've always been cordial. You can tell. But, um... It looks like things are going to get a little bit more heated and more warm. Because like I said, this season, it feels very, very different. Like, it's a lot of people not there no more. And it's a different dynamic now. And um, tell me what you guys think. What do you guys want me to review? What are your thoughts on tonight's episode? And until next time, peace, y'all. It's County Brown, man. It's County Brown, man.